Hello friends, welcome back to Talktiv. Afghanistan's Kosh Tipa Canal issue essentially forces the Central Asian nations in the AMU Darya Basin to make trade-offs between regional instability and internal instability. Uzbek delegation visited Kabul in an effort to strengthen ties with the nascent Taliban regime. Among the various infrastructure projects discussed between the two parties was the ongoing construction of Afghanistan's new Kosh Tipa Canal in Balkh province. With a plan to divert up to 10 billion cubic meters from the AMU Darya each year, the canal proposes the utilization of a significant amount of water from a basin that already has a history of intensive use by the downstream states of Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. As over 100 kilometers of the 285 kilometers long canal has already been dug, the potential impact of such a project is becoming increasingly palpable each day construction continues. Devoting over 4,000 workers and numerous capital assets to the project, the Taliban clearly have an interest in seeing this canal completed, regardless of the consequences to the downstream states. Nonetheless, Given how much the other states in the region rely on the AMU Daria, protection of existing water distribution agreements is essential. Disagreement, though, is not really an option. Without an understanding between Afghanistan and the other states in the basin, the resulting diplomatic crisis could further isolate the Taliban and exacerbate regional security problems. This is perhaps why the Uzbek delegation was so keen to emphasize that the canal be developed with respect to the existing legal norms. The extent to which a project of such a scope and magnitude can be implemented into the current legal framework is, however, a somewhat dubious proposition. Water sharing on the AMU Daria Although previous agreements regarding the AMU Daria had been negotiated between the Soviet Union and the government in Kabul, going back to 1946, these treaties never directly addressed the issue of water sharing on the AMU Darya. Later agreements, like the post-Soviet Almaty Agreement, never included Afghanistan as a signatory in any negotiations regarding the use of water in the basin. The current agreement governing the basin, the Almaty Agreement, takes as its basis for water allocation divisions that were originally envisioned in the Soviet-era Protocol 566, which only assumed that Afghanistan would divert 2.1 billion cubic meters, far less than the potential 10 billion that the Kosh Tipa Canal might divert. The scarcity crisis the diversion of water from the AMU Daria seriously threatens the stability of Uzbekistan. Putting aside the threat to the water-reliant cotton industry itself, which the country has expended significant resources to connect to global markets, the aridification of the Aral Sea has already exacted a heavy toll on the country. A reduction in the flow of the AMU Daria would not only exacerbate these woes, but threaten the main employer of Karakal Paxton. A diversion of water in Afghanistan would degrade the health and economic opportunities of an already marginal and troubled region in Uzbekistan. Incentives to cooperation despite the nominal opposition that downstream countries might have to the canal, there are definite benefits to cooperating with the Taliban on this issue. Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan have been trying to get governments in Kabul to cooperate on the proposed Turkmenistan-Afghanistan-Pakistan-India pipeline for decades now. With the participants having already sunk significant resources into the project, the recent announcement by the Taliban that construction would continue could finally see a payoff to some of these investments. Overall, construction on the canal progresses, and the consequences of an undeveloped water-sharing framework on the AMU Daria become more apparent, the steps that Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan make in the next few months will begin to outline the relative importance each regime places on these dueling regional and domestic consequences. For more content like that please subscribe Talktiv. Thanks for watching.